Today's Wikipedia article is not an innuendo, it's just brain. The brain is the center of the nervous system, and if you're like me, you never really notice the shape the embryo takes inside the womb. What's the difference between an embryo and a fetus? Glad you asked. Once someone is pregnant, the embryonic stage is roughly from fertilization to 10 weeks, and the fetal stage is 10 weeks to birth. If you want to keep it simple, just think, embryo no baby, fetus baby. Kinda sounds like fetus baby. But this isn't a discussion about when a human is a human. In most creatures, the brain is found inside the head. Though some exceptions apply and sort of call into question what the definition of the brain is, the cerebral cortex has about 14 to 16 billion neurons. That's the outside part of the brain here. And the cerebellum has about 55 to 70 billion neurons. That's the part of Andross's brain in Star Fox 64 here. Neurons communicate with each other using long strands known as axons. You might remember these from your high school biology class or from that time you put your hand on the stove as a child. Physiologically speaking, the brain is a centralized point inside the body that allows you to perform actions with the rest of your body. It's like the opposite of Bitcoin, or that shrimp we saw earlier. This is why so many American women under 30 have vision boards. I guess the idea is that creating a space for your brain will ultimately lead your body, and by extension your life, wherever you want. Modern neuroscience is starting to treat the brain as a sort of biological computer. And while that's not the same as a digital computer, because I know as soon as I say that you're all going to cry simulation, that means similar in the sense that the brain can acquire information, store it, and bring it back at some point. And I should clarify that the information coming from this video is from the brain article on Wikipedia, and not the human brain article. That's just so you don't come after me when I reference something that might apply to, say, shrimp. <laughs> How many times could I add shrimp? Rather than yourself. Now, brain tissue in its natural state is too soft to work with, so in order to be dissected or cut apart, it can be hardened by being immersed in alcohol. So, uh, if you want a hard brain, I think you know what to do. But the easiest way to gain information about the brain is just... cut it open and take a look. You might have heard the term gray matter before. It's kind of like this. Just gray matter. That's because when you take a cross-section of your alcohol-hardened brain specimen, certain portions outside the brain literally appear gray, while portions towards the inside are white. So if you thought your brain was the same color as Hubba Bubba, you're actually in luck, because they recently changed their gum to be gray matter gray. This is an actual picture I took from my phone while writing this script, and an actual piece I went on to chew. That piece no longer looks anything like what's pictured. And I'll qualify this a little bit for anyone who's near my age, whose brain also exploded when they found out Hubba Bubba is no longer brain misconception pink. This is a piece of Hubba Bubba unwrapped in Europe, so it's possible the American version still retains its sense of childlike wonder. My unproven conspiracy theory is that European laws prevent the coloring agent that's allowed in the American version. Because unlike America, Europe makes efforts to protect the health of its citizens. Now, outside vertebrate creatures, such as humans like us, at least I assume everyone watching this human, are invertebrates. Meaning they don't have this thing. That includes creatures like fruit flies, nematodes, and sea slugs. So the next time you hear someone say, grow a spine, keep in mind that some animals can't. So it's kind of like they're calling you a sea slug. It's kind of weird when you think about it though, since grow a spine means have more confidence. Fruit flies have no spine, but they're confident enough to fly straight into your eyeball if you let them. Interestingly though, even vertebrate animals sometimes have funny looking brains. A shark brain is basically just a pair of ovaries, or maybe Boba Fett's ship in Star Wars. And I apologize if you came to this video expecting a deep dive into every facet of the brain. It can get kind of boring if you just list one thing after another with no rhythm. Hmm. Rhythm. Medulla cerebellum, hypothalamus, okay, this is fun, basal ganglia, olfactory bulb, hippocampus, and maybe pallium. Okay, that's probably about all of that I have. But seriously, this article's long, so if you want more info, get out there and read it. And if you're willing to put that much effort into learning about the brain, then you're almost certainly willing to smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. That's just if you want to see me grow as a channel. If you don't like me, don't do it. Commenting helps too. That's why so many creators sneakily ask you to leave your opinion in the video. So if you want to see me succeed, do both. Sleep is another important factor of the brain, and until the 1950s, it was basically believed that the brain just shut off during sleep. The patterns in brain activity change while you're asleep, alternating between REM and non-REM cycles. For anyone who doesn't know what REM is, it stands for rapid eye movement. It's a part of super deep sleep where your pupils are just going crazy back and forth. It's also that type of intense deep sleep that people who sleep five times a day try to maximize. This is known as polyphasic sleep, but as a wise 2012 meme once said, Ain't nobody got time for that! 
At this point, the brain article really splits off into a lot of different topics. So if you're wanting to learn more about things like working memory, research, or history, go check it out. I sort of want to say sorry for covering so little of the actual brain in this one, but at the same time, I can't stop making jokes. The article's dense and not always interesting, but there's still a lot of good info in there. Like this beef brain curry from Indonesia, which leads to the brain as food article if you're ready for that one. Check it out if you get the chance, and I'll see you guys next time.